Hi! It's Monday again. It's boiling again and I'm back on my bed. Um, hi. So, in case you're wondering about Kinsman, her, she hasn't posted a video this week because her audio's been acting up and she's like not been able to hear herself at all and like there's been no sound on her videos so that's why she hasn't posted a video. And if you knew her in real life, you'd say not being able to hear her voice is always, always a plus so I think she should just put her videos up anyway. <laughs> um, so yeah, the theme of this week is inspirations so let's just get down with that. Okay, so my first inspiration, which is going to be really obvious, is this woman right here. She's lovely. And it's JK Rowling. Ah. Um, aside from writing Harry Potter, she's inspiring to me because, well, basically, I find her really similar to my mum. Like, apart from the whole writing of a bestseller novel bit, like, my mum moved to Portugal like met a Portuguese man, had a half Portuguese daughter, came back to England without the guy and yeah and her and my mum were born 10 days apart and there's all sorts of like really weird coincidences apart from the whole writing the novel thing so um yeah yeah and I always find it really amazing how before Harry Potter J.K. Rowling was just this woman on benefits in Edinburgh, having to drink one cup of coffee to last her all day through the cafe so she wouldn't get chucked out and I don't know, I just think it's really amazing how she's been able to raise herself and now she's this really successful woman and she's amazing. I always find the charity work she does quite cool as well. Even though I kind of dislike the fact she's always like, I don't know, it always seems really obvious when she does charity work and it's always really publicised. I just thought I'd prefer it if it wasn't known, but I know that sounds really horrible, it's better to do some and to have it publicised and none, but I always seems, I don't know, I don't know how I feel about that. Anyway, so yeah, J.K. Rowling's story has always been pretty inspirational to me and it just shows how you can always be better and things will get better, even if you are starving in Edinburgh in the snow. Okay, so my second inspiration and the reason I'm sat up on here is Lindsay Way, who is... Mm, let's try to find her. That woman there. She's the bassist in Mine with Self-Indulgence, which is one of my favourite bands. And she's a woman in rock music, which I know is quite rare, but it's not as rare as it used to be, so it's still good, but she does sort of have a completely ballsy attitude, and she takes no prisoners, and she completely hates the fact that people call her Mrs. Jared Way, which I love about her, it shows that women should be their own person, not an extension of their husband, which is always a plus, and I think if I was in the slightest musically talented, which I'm not, I would want to be her and I would be in a band trying to follow in her footsteps and she's just really cool and really ballsy like I said and some of her clothes are really awesome too. She dresses pretty much like how I'd like to dress if I had the money and a, like a good social scene. Um, My last inspiration is a girl called, well, a woman called Caitlin, who runs a blog on the internet, not a Tumblr blog, just a normal one. And I'm going to make it my blog of the week, even though it isn't Tumblr, and I hope you don't mind, but it is. It's an amazing blog. It's a fitness and food blog. But the woman who runs it, Caitlin, she also runs the site Operation Beautiful, and she's the one who came up with it. And if you don't know what that is, it's like basically sticking up post-it notes with inspirational quotes on telling women they're strong, they're beautiful, and... They really help people and I stick them up quite a lot and I don't know, just sticking them up makes me feel good so I really hope it makes other people feel good as well and I think somebody trying so hard to help other women and men is really, really inspirational and her life is sort of awesome as well.
because because of this Operation Beautiful, she's now written a book and is a writer when before she was stuck in a dead end job. So yeah, that's a really nice story and this woman is amazing. I've talked to her a couple of times via email and she's really cool and a complete inspiration and I'm sort of vaguely in love with her. She's that awesome. So uh, yeah, it's my blog of the week. I think you should go RSS feed Caitlin down there. I'll put a link to her food blog and also to Operation Beautiful. So um, yeah, that's it. I'm sorry that was a bit boring and a bit, oh my god, I love this woman, but oh well. So, my life, still boring. I went to my first university open day on Saturday, which was the University of Liverpool, and I figured out I could actually get in there, which was really nice, considering it's like one of the elite universities in the Russell Group, which is pretty much like the Ivy League of the UK. So, yeah, that's nice, knowing I can get into a university that elite. So I'm pretty excited for December, January, finding out if I actually get in there or not. I've also got a load of uni open days. I've got one on Wednesday back in Liverpool, but different Liverpool University this time. And on Saturday I go to Bangor, which I think I showed you the perspectives on a couple of days ago, so yeah. Travelling all around the country. Then I loved your video last week. I laughed every single time you did a sex noise and I was nearly dying by the end of the video, so that was nice. Now I have a challenge for you subscribers. There's 32 of you, well, 37 excluding, you know, the girls. And I want you all to comment down here, tell me who your inspirations are, because the only people who usually comment are usually Potamish. Thank you for that, and that's pretty much it. So. Yeah, I think you should all comment down here telling me who your inspiration is and hopefully we'll learn more about you. And um, yeah, that's it for this week, so bye!